So let's have a recap. Till now, what we have seen, we have seen collection interface, we have seen list interface, we have seen the implementation class of list interface that is array list, linked list, vector, stack. What is set interface? The implementation class of set interface that is has set and linked has set. Now we will see what is sorted set interface. This is a child interface of set interface. As you can see, then we will have another child interface of sorted set that is navigable set, and the implementation class of the sorted set is tree set. Okay. Tree set implements navigable set, sorted set, set collection. So tree set is the implementation class. So first we will see what is sorted set interface. Sorted set interface, it is a child interface of set that we already know. If we want to represent a group of individual objects according to some sorting take order and duplicates are not allowed. So it is set and duplicates are not allowed, but we want to represent them in some sorting order. It can be ascending, it can be descending, it can also be customized sorting order as well. For example, if you want to sort employees according to their salaries, so that is a customized sorting order. Okay, not according to their employee ID, but according to their salaries. So we can have customized sorting order also. Fine. So if you want to represent a group of individual objects according to some sorting order and duplicates are not allowed, then we should go for sorted set. Let's see some of the methods. That are there in sorted set interface. So these are methods are in interface. So they are only defined, not implemented. They will be implemented by tree set. That is the implementation class of sorted set interface. So first method is first object first. It returns the first element of sorted set. Then the second method is object last. It returns the last element of sorted set. So the first method will return me nothing but one, and the last method will return me a eight. Correct. Next sorted set head set object. Okay. Head set, so it returns the sorted set whose elements are less than object. So, for example, in head set, I pass four. In head set, I pass four. So head set four. Okay. So it will return me one, two, and three. All the elements that are less than four. It will return me elements that are objects that are less than four. That is head set. So it returns the sorted set whose elements are less than object. Next is tail set. So it returns the elements that are greater than object. For example, if I have Tail set three, tail set three. So I will have my answer as four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So if I have tail set three, then I will have my answer as four, five, six, seven, eight. Fine. Because four, five, six, seven, eight all are greater than three. This was sorted set tail set. Next we will have sorted set subset. So what subset does it? We give two objects, object one and object two. And it returns the subset between object one and object two, but the catch is it will be inclusive of object one and exclusive of object two. Let's see. So if I give in subset three and eight, so if I give in subset here three and eight, so what will be the output is three, four, five, six, and seven. The output will be three, four, five, six, and seven, and not eight. It will include three, but it will not include eight. Okay, so here it is a method subset. Next is comparator comparator. Now this comparator, I will talk about it in detail in later videos. Next is comparator. So we will talk about the comparator in detail. But for now, let's see returns comparator object that describes the underlying sorting technique. There can be customized sorting techniques that I have told you. So it will return that customized sorting technique also. But if we are using default natural sorting order, then it will return me a null. So what is default natural sorting order? So the default natural sorting order, we all know what it is. So for numbers, for numericals, the default is from one to three, ascending order. Okay. So default natural sorting order for number is ascending order, and for strings, it is alphabet. For strings, it is alphabet. Fine. So default natural sorting order for numbers is ascending order. String it is alphabet. So in this case, if I call my comparator method, so it will return me a null because it is default natural sorting order that is ascending. If I have it in descending, so it will return me descending. Okay, not null. Null is only in the case when we use default natural sorting order. Fine, just make these points. Default natural sorting order for numbers is ascending, and for string it is alphabet. So these are the methods of sorted set. Okay, now these methods are implemented by tree set. That is a implementation class for sorted set interface. Okay, next we will see tree set, and after that we will see navigable set. Okay.